Hello and welcome back once again to Product Placement Holiday Special Week 5. It's the final week, which, if I time these out right and you're watching this right now, it should be Christmas. If not, Christmas is next week. In any case, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, we got one present left, final one to open. Save this one for last because I figured it would be the one I like the least. Um, and it was recently mentioned to me that I should start trying more gross stuff so you can see my reaction, which, yeah, a lot of the stuff I try is palette friendly, I guess. Um, I mean, like I said before, I, I put money out of my own pocket for this and my money's kind of limited, so I try not to get things that I know I'm going to hate. I try to get things that I may end up surprisingly liking, but at the same time, something I think I'm going to like could end up being gross. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to do things like eat bugs or anything like that. Uh, I know there was another reviewer who ate a bull penis once. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing anything like that. Um, so, let's get on to the final present, and hopefully it's something gross, so you guys can see me disgusted by something for Christmas. Uh, anyway, let's get into this here. <laughs> like you can tell by the rattle, you probably know what it is. But the thing is, you don't know what flavor it is. So, switch this one open. Still not the new car I was hoping for. Oh my. What we have this time again is M&M's. This time, they're cherry cordial M&M's. Now, I'm not a big fan of cherries. Uh, I like cherry flavoring. Like, I like cherry coke. I like, uh, you know, like stuff you would put like a cherry syrup on, like a sundae. I'm not a fan of actual cherries. If you remember when I did the fruitcake last year, when I ate the cherry, I was, uh, the rest of it, I was fine with. So, I saved these for last because they're probably going to be the one I dislike the most. Um, now, again, like the uh, mint truffle uh, kisses that I did last week, um, as I was going down the aisle, there was the cherry cordial M&M's, and then there was cherry cordial Hershey's Kisses. Uh, since I already had the two other Hershey's Kisses, I want to balance it out and do another M&M instead. Plus, these are only uh, cherry cordial flavored, um, where the other ones had like the actual cherry syrup stuff in it. So, I figured these would probably be the safer bet on which ones I could probably tolerate. Uh, if you don't want to see me throw up on Christmas. So, yeah, not really a big fan of cherry, but hopefully these are just a hint of cherry flavoring to chocolate, and, just a, and not just a big gob of cherry jelly in the middle of it. Um, so anyway, let's dig into the cherry towards the onions. Let's see what happens. Why did I make it so hard to open? I've never had this much problem opening the white onions in my life. Except for the other week when I was doing that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, another thing. Um, I don't really recall ever having cherry cordial. I probably have. Um, I know I've had, like, Valentine's Day candy that someone gave to me that had the cherry filling. Wasn't a big fan of those. I'm going to assume that holiday cherry cordials are basically the same as that. I'm not a fan of, like, jelly donuts either. Like, I don't like gobs of food. I don't like cherry pie. I can eat apple pie, but it's not, like, the big chunks of apple in it that aren't my favorite. Uh, other berry pies. Like, blueberries. I love blueberries and things like pancakes and stuff like that, but the like, blueberry pie is just uh, too much. Um, so, sorry if I sound like I'm running short of breath as I talk. Um, the air conditioner is not kicking out for some reason. It's really hot in here and my sinuses are getting stuffed up. So, yeah. If I sound like I'm running short of breath, I probably am. So, anyway. Again, they're about the same size as the other ones that I've done. Slightly bigger than the red rum nams. I have a definite cherry smell to them. Yeah, I do this crap for you guys. I don't like cherry stuff, but here it goes. Let that help, right? Mm. 
Um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's not good. Uh, yeah, basically, it tastes like if you had cherry cordials or uh, Valentine's Day chocolates with the cherry stuff in the center. It's basically what you're getting, except you don't have like the full cherry or the cherry syrupy jelly stuff coating your mouth. Um, it's just like if they mixed that jelly in with the uh, if they mix that syrup in with the chocolate. It says milk chocolate on here, but it almost tastes more like a dark chocolate. Uh, that could just be the cherry flavoring throwing it off. Um, yeah. I'm impressed. However, if you like cherry cordials, spot on. They finally got one right. Uh, so if you like those, check these out. Um, I'm able to tolerate these better than I probably could have the cherry cordial kisses because, um, like you may have seen on the last ones, it actually shows like what's inside of it on it. And those looked like they did have a little syrupy stuff inside. So that shooting down my throat as I've bit into one probably wouldn't have been a good thing for video. These I can tolerate. There's not really anything cherry inside of them. It's just chocolate. Yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Um, as far as what I'm going to do with all these leftover candies, because obviously I'm not going to eat the rest of these, I'm probably going to go buy a candy dish. Um, dump all my assortment of leftover Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff into one big dish. Let my roommates have at it. And reach in and grab a handful of M&Ms and get a mixture of cherry, uh, ginger, and candy corn. So I think I still got some of the candy corn left too. The kisses I'll have to separate out though. They'll be able to see what those are because of the color on the little wrappers. Actually, the middle ones I'll probably keep eating. The gingerbread Twix I'll probably save for myself because those weren't that bad. Uh, I like Twix and you don't even notice the ginger in those till the aftertaste. So as long as I got something to drink with it, I'll probably be fine with those. But anyway, that's it. That's week five. Five weeks in a row I've given you something. Other than that, uh, as always, Merry Christmas, um, Happy New Year, and whatever other holidays you may celebrate. As I said before, I say Merry Christmas because I celebrate Christmas. Um, I don't go in for the politically correct Happy Holidays stuff. I'll say Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. Celebrate Kwanzaa. Merry Kwanzaa, I think it is. Happy Kwanzaa, whatever. Um, whatever other holidays, happy whatever. I celebrate Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates Christmas. Um, hopefully you all had a safe holiday. If you're traveling, hopefully you made it there safe. You make it back home safe. Hopefully everyone got what they wanted. Uh, if you didn't get what you wanted, at least be thankful that you got something. Because I got nothing other than cherry m and yeah. um, so yeah that's it for now not sure what I'm going to get around to next um, CES is a couple weeks away so you'll probably be seeing some CES videos next uh, as far as product placement or movie reviews or anything else that I'm planning to do uh, probably still going to be a while I said I'm just getting my setup back to where I can use it um, as I said I'll explain that more whenever I get around to doing the vlog if I haven't done it already not sure where it's going to fit in all these five weeks. At this point, I haven't done it. So, in case you can't tell, I'm actually recording this early. It's not on Christmas. It's like November or something. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for this episode. Again, Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy Holidays. Uh, Happy New Year. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. You guys are the reason I do this. Uh, and feel free to leave a comment or like or favorite, whatever. I know some of the YouTube comments are screwed up now, but you can go over to uh, the blog. The web address should be right here somewhere. Leave a comment there. You don't have to have a Google Plus account to do it, as far as I know. Um, although they are owned by Google, so... Hopefully they don't change that one. Anyway, that's it. Uh, 
Again, thanks for watching. And until next year, cheers.